Well, hello. God bless you. Bishop Wooden here. I want to invite you to meet me tonight at the Upper Room. We're back. We had an awesome time in St. Louis, and uh, I'm sure you've heard uh, that the word of the Lord was preached with power and authority. I thank God, first, first of all, for your prayers and your support. I thank God for the members of NC 3rd and for the members of the Upper Room who, who traveled, who journeyed out to St. Louis to, to pray for me, to be with me, to back me as I preached on last Wednesday night in the 111th Holy Convocation. And also, all of you who could not attend, but you prayed for me, you sent me texts, you, did, you, you, you communicated with me to let me know that you were there either in spirit or in prayer or in person. The truth is, when I stood there to minister the word of the Lord, I had some awesome people standing with me. And most importantly, the Lord stood with me and I delivered the word of the Lord as the Lord gave it to me. And we made no apologies for preaching the truth. The Bible says, be ye clean uh, that bear the vessels of the Lord. Taken from Isaiah chapter 52. But now tonight, tonight, you know what? Tonight, I'm back. I'm back home. I'm back at the upper room and we're going to walk in the scriptures. We're going to go right back to the word of the Lord and let the word of God sink and seep into our spirits. You know what? Like a slow rain. It's been raining today. The last few days it's been rainy and uh, uh, the, maybe that rain is a sign of, of the word of God just seeping into us. And let me say this to you and I'm going to wrap this up because I want to see you tonight. The, the, the message last week caused a big stir. Listen, it made people shouting glad and it made others fighting mad. Now, for those who are shouting glad, I want you to know, thank God. And for those of you who are fighting mad, I love you. And for those who love me, you wonder what pastor, they've said some pretty bad things. Those who oppose the word of the Lord and they've, they've said this, that, and the other. Look, who cares? <laughs> Hey, they have mouths. They can say what they want to say. Who cares? Paul says, if God be for you, who can be against us? That is, since the Lord is for us, who is against us? Uh, I could care less, and I don't want you to be concerned, and don't be, pray for me, but don't be worried. Is pastor okay? Is first lady okay? Is the family okay? Man, look, we're doing good. God is good. To be perfectly honest with you, to be perfectly honest, I feel honored to be in a position to once more and again suffer persecution for declaring the truth of God. I'm honored. God's been so good to me. I'm honored that he has chosen this nothing of a person to preach a gospel that will incur the raft of wicked persons and the raft of the devil and comments by those who may be jealous, who are angry, who are guilty of sin. It, isn't it amazing how people will fight sin rather than just come clean and let the Lord deliver you. Jesus died for you and he will set you free. But I am honored that the Lord chose me and Upper Room chose you and NC Third chose us and members of the body of Christ who agree with God's truth chose us to stand in these last and evil days. Now meet me tonight. Let's study the word of God together. I'm a happy man in Jesus and I look forward to seeing you tonight as we study God's word together.